Hi, welcome to a new session of Analog Circuits. In today's class, you are going to see a full wave rectifier output when it is connected to a center type transformer. Another version of full wave rectifier also is there to study. For that, we have to go for the bridge circuit that we are going to see in the later class. But in today's class, we will observe how this transformer is making into action uh, to supply the input to the diodes and how this output is obtained and how to calculate the RMS value and average value and finally the form factor and all the results we are going to simulate in a MATLAB model. So for a center tabbed full wave rectifier when you look into the circuit you can see this is a coupling inductance where it is known as center tab transformer where diode D1, D2 and load resistance are supplied through this transformer and to this transformer input is given as AC uh, which is ranging from 0 to highest value going to the uh, 0 value and other going to the negative peak value and coming back to the 0 value and that input is given as input to the transformer on the primary winding. Now this transformer it can be step up transformer or step down transformer so that the voltage can be increased or decreased according to our requirement okay for most of the electronic equipments generally we require low voltage and whatever the supply which we receive in our from our uh, households that is simply uh, 230 volts or 220 volts and that is needed to be stepped down to a lower voltage value so this transformer is used for that step down of the voltage and this will give uh, it's center tap connections like this for the resistance uh, which is known as the load resistance so that uh, the sinusoidal input is changed to the unidirectional output generally it is also known as DC output but pure DC you are going to obtain with the help of the filter and that concept we are going to see in our future class okay so in clockwise direction the positive uh, of the sine wave is applied through this closed network or circuit and for the negative half cycle the diode 2 comes into existence and the flow of current is in this direction thereby the alternating voltage is changed to unidirectional output in this form. So this is for positive half cycle and this is for negative half cycle. So when this is done the final output what we obtain generally we know as uh, we call that as a uh, DC value uh, without filtration or you can also name it as unidirectional output anyhow for this particular output if at all we want to calculate the average value and the RMS value then from the standards of what we have learned from the uh, periodic waveform the average value is obtained by 1 by pi for a, uh, one cycle in this way so 1 by pi 0 to pi Vm sin omega t dt and taking this Vm outside I am integrating sin omega t dt with respect to t under interval 0 to pi and integration of sin becomes minus cos of omega t the upper limit and lower limit are there so you please apply the upper limit value and the lower limit value like this take this minus sign outside and the resultant would be 2 Vm by pi or it is 0 0.637 Vm. So this is the average value of the uh, output uh, of the full wave rectifier. Similarly, if at all we want to calculate the RMS value, uh, the interval goes to uh, 0 to pi, 1 by pi, uh, integration of Vm square sin square omega t dt, and the whole value is taken into under root condition. And when you simplify this, you are going to get uh, Vm by root 2 which is also written as 0 0.707 Vm. In fact the form factor would be RMS value by average value which would be 1.11 for a full wave rectifier and this is the reason why on all the substations when you look into the board uh, you can see that the design of the substation is under 33 kV, 66 kV like 11 kV so all these are nothing but the multiples of this form factor 
So you please remember this form factor value. Now if at all I want to see the output in a MATLAB. So in this MATLAB you can see I have selected a, a linear transformer which is also known as a step down transformer in the disk condition. Why it is step down you can see here the primary winding here it is uh, 230 volts and the secondary winding is 24. So uh, here you can see the secondary winding and tertiary winding both are interconnected for center adapter condition. So the values we are keep keeping over here as the same 24 and 24. So the, uh, the working nature of this transformer under step down is changing 230 volts to 24 volts. This is you keep in your mind while operating with MATLAB. Okay. Now you see here we have taken IC voltage source whose peak value amplitude is 230 into square root of 2 and frequency it is maintained to be 50. So that is the input supply and this is the transform connected what we have seen from the diagram and from this diode 1 is connected, diode 2 is connected, this is in clockwise direction, this is in anti-clockwise direction. The output is measured across the resistance. Here I have taken the value of resistance as 20 ohms. Okay. So the measurement of V input voltage. Now V input voltage is the voltage of the transformer secondary. So that I am taking here as VI. So VI uh, from go to to from the output waveform is selected over the scope. Okay. And the output voltage is across 20 ohms that I have, that I have marked here as V0. So V0 is over here and it is connected also to a scope and the grounding is given for this point which is a common point for uh, center type of transformer as well as the resistance and when you run this model you can see the output over here see v in which is nothing but 24 volts so roughly 24 it is going to the value and the sine solar input is given through the transformer to the diode for positive half cycle. Similarly, for the negative half cycle also, the rectification is done. And the final output voltage across resistance is obtained to be unidirectional in nature, or you can say DC without filter. So that is how you uh, can connect the uh, circuit in MATLAB and you can run it and check the result. So coming back to the analysis, what we have done, we have seen the more MATLAB model for the center tap to pulver rectifier. This is a circuit diagram. You please make a note of this. Whenever you can, uh, you are having a MATLAB software tool, you can uh, utilize this circuit and you can check out the waveforms. So that's all for today's class. I hope you like this class. Please share among your friends. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for the future notifications.